Hello everyone and welcome back to New Pantheon Academia. If you're wondering why I'm not wearing the jacket today, it's 95 degrees and I'm not feeling it. My name is Stephen Pope and I will be your host for today's game and I'm very excited. Uh, we took a little break last week for, well, vacations, summer, what do you want? But we're back, we're very excited, and we got some great things to show you. Before we get into house cleaning, let's go ahead and meet our table, starting with someone who got a Patamon at an impressionable age. It's Critical Bard. That makes me happy because I love Patamon, because Anjuman is one of the best and two can do whatever he wants. Hi, my name is Omega Jones, also known as the Critical Bard. Critical Bard across all social media channels. Today I am playing Kawamayaki Nyemi, the, uh, the very cool uh, captain of the basketball team and sometimes on Tuesdays part of the school safety squad uh, and his divinity is Anansi, the West African trickster god of stories and spiders stuff. Uh, CP, was Angimon kind of a moment for you as a child? Um, Kind of on a scale of holy fucking shit and eh, definitely on the holy fucking shit side because, you know, his hand of fate can do what I'm, I'm done. <laughs> Next up, they are a they're a Digimon trainer complete with a collection of cards. It's Aki. Oh, man. Digimon is like deeply underrated. It's such oh, a yes. great show. Freaking loved Digimon. Anyways, hi everybody. I'm Aki. I'm playing Emancipation Brown, aka Manny. Uh, they are uh, blessed to have the deity of uh, Ma'at, the Egyptian goddess of truth, justice, and harmony. They are a winged soldier uh, hoping to set people free of the lies they have chained themselves to. I love that. That, that was a good one. And last but certainly not least, they are the original Cyber Sleuth. It's mostly Eric. Why, hello, everybody. Welcome on into the show. Uh, my name's Eric, and I'm playing Lennox Thatcher, who is the, the former captain of the football team and currently possessor of Ninkasi, the Sumerian goddess of beer. He also is psychic. Uh, we, we has, he has telepathy. I forget that sometimes. Oh, yeah, I can, I can face through walls and floors. And Kwame got super strength because uh, Loki's a jerk and I rolled off a table. Loki's the best. Mm. Loki's a bunny. So, uh, before we get into everything proper, let's go ahead and just do a little house cleaning. We are still aiming for $250, $250 in tips an episode or 15 new subs, Patreon pledges. This helps keep the channel alive. It keeps us fed. It makes sure... We can keep ourselves in brightly colored Godzilla shirts and pay our beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cast. I mean, look at them. Look at Critical Bard's new haircut. Look how good it looks. Appreciate it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Everybody looks real fresh. Yes. Uh, for $15, 1,500 bits or five gift subs, we will, you can send us a message. We'll read it live on air with our beautiful... Uh, school secretary. She's not weird. Don't worry about it. She canonically fucks, though, so I still have to live with that knowledge. <laughs> and we want to send a big thanks to our friends over at Roll20 and Die Hard Dice. They are our sponsors. They are incredibly uh, wonderful people to work with. Roll20 is the best virtual tabletop available, and Die Hard Dice makes some of the most beautiful dice available, including the Critical Bard dice set. Uh, if you use, uh, oh, you just had that ready, Mazel Tov. Uh, if you use sure. Saving Throw Show at checkout at Die Hard, Die Hard Dice, you can get 10% off your order, so go check that out. And hey, if you're not watching this live, thank you. We really do appreciate it. Just do us a solid. Like, comment, subscribe. Get us that sponsorship from Raid Shadow Legends. I don't know. We're still waiting on that stuff. No, no. Not allowed. I just wasn't expecting that one to come out. <laughs> no, that's that that's old YouTube. It's all about honey and keeps. Bald and cheap people, apparently. <laughs> but hey, uh, if you don't, if we can't get Raid Shadow Legends or Keeps or Honey or some or a VPN service to sponsor us, you could sponsor us through our Patreon. Join our Exploration Society. Your support comes with amazing rewards, including pins, swag, merch discounts, 
one page adventures where I'm a hobbit. It's great. Uh, so be a part of society and join up today. So uh, thanks to you guys. Before we even started, thank you so much for this. We have already got our first unlock of the night reroll. So you are going to start tonight's game with, uh, well, we are short a Nika. So you will have four rerolls as opposed to the usual five. Oh, we still have five and have an X and one. That's not for you. Yeah, it's fine. No, 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 no. I make the rules. Fine. 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 I was going to be over here respecting your decision as the game master. Fine. Good. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm totally okay with this, but I'm going to pretend to be angry for views. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you have a sensor bleep? I've had one for a very long time. You are aware of that. I completely forgot. I completely forgot you had a sensor. Many times. Yeah. Well, shit. Well, I don't use it that often in this show because I made the decision that Lenny doesn't swear. Uh And I don't think I've ever sworn as Lenny. You usually say things like heckin'. Yeah, heckin'. does. Whack or whatever. Whereas Manny, the one you would never anticipate being the one that swears, swears a lot. Potty mouth on that one. Yes. Um, All right. So where we last left off, uh, you were visited by your uh, sister school located from jolly old England. And apparently there are more schools like North Point than you thought. Apparently there are several Nexus Points possibly around the world where divinities find people uh which was useful because you were attacked by a scarecrow during a basketball game uh because kwame got to finally put lenny into a cute little uh costume and uh lived out at that one moment from owl house but we won't talk about that I may have put some shorts on and a t-shirt and say yeah. go win Fair enough, but your game was interrupted, and the auditor and the gymnasium destroyed uh, because of a scarecrow. Thankfully, because of through Manny's ability to you know reveal the truth and uh, your new friend's ability to kind of warp time, you were able to find out who is possessed by a scarecrow, and it, you found out found it to be Layla Saeed, the school president, who is also canonically like four foot ten on a good day. Shorties mm-hmm. represent. And as you all went chasing after her, uh, we ended the game. But that's not where we're going to pick up today. We're going to pick up a couple days before this. Lenny, you are a member of the school of school government. You're not the most active, but you definitely joined at a certain point. My dad told me I had to. Mm -hmm. The meeting went long. There was a lot of discussions about the upcoming uh, foreign exchange students, uh, some plans, what was going to happen for the school during uh, summer break, uh, what programs would, you know, what clubs would be approved. And as the meeting wrapped, people took their exit and Lenny, Layla, uh, chased you down after the meeting to talk to you. I, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry for uh, holding you up, Lennox. I know you are very busy. Uh, honestly, not really. Uh, what's up? Oh, um, I wanted to talk to you about uh, next year. Um, I am going to be a senior next year, and while I will continue to be school president, I am looking for someone to take it up after I leave. And I wanted to talk to you about possibly taking that role. Okay. I would like for you to run for school president. Oh. Um. Okay. I guess, yeah. You I... can say no. I oh, know. 
but I'm not sure if I want to. This really bakes my noodle. Um, you know what? Um, here. Uh, do you have a quarter? I do not know. Okay. Um, uh, no, pick a hand. No, or um, I don't know how to. Hmm. How do I generate? A number. Ah, dang it. Uh, you know what? I guess, yeah, sure. Um, I was going to like flip a coin, but like, I don't, I don't, can't really flip a 20. So yeah, I guess. Okay. I noticed you uh, stopped playing football. Yeah. Are you okay? Um, like, yeah, but like also no, but like, yeah, it's like complicated. It's all like football's cool, but it's not my thing. Uh, but I was doing it cause it was like, I felt like it, I had to do it. And then like also do the government cause I, cause I had to, but then like, I also kind of like doing it. So I don't know. I guess I'll run, and if people people like me or whatever, you know, they can pick me. But you know, they can pick someone else. It's like democracy or whatever. Yes, that is something I uh, very much like about the school. I guess I've been a little worried about you, Lennox. Oh, really? Oh, jeez, yeah. Oh, well, I'm I'm like heck of sorry about that. No, no, you do not need to apologize. I've just been oh, okay. concerned for you. I uh, dropping out of uh, football. I know you've been with the school safety squad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that uh, club uh, keeps me busy. <laughs> yes, it's a very noble pursuit. I. They have my respect. Cool. I, I'll tell him that. <laughs> I can get out I, my phone and text. You, <laughs> you have Layla's respect. Send. <laughs> Manny sends a text back. Oh, cool. Who? <laughs> no, they know who it is. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're part of the pep squad. If they don't know who the president of the school is, that's a problem. Yeah. Um, they would be very bad at their... They'd be really bad at that club otherwise. Yeah. But no, but, I... Sorry. But then Manny sends a text to Layla, too, saying, I respect you, too. She checks her phone and giggles a little. <laughs> I suppose I've been overly concerned i just when people give up things sometimes they do it out of self-respect out of uh, concern for themselves and that's good but sometimes people do it out of i don't know exhaustion and that had me worried is all oh yeah yeah i could see that like Someone like, I mean, even in a school as like small as this, it's probably be pretty easy for like a student to fall through the cracks and like fall into like, I don't know, all kinds of trouble. But yeah, I'm good. But like, uh, I'm glad you're, you're like a heck of a good president, you know, like noticing that stuff. I try to make sure everyone at school feels safe and welcome. <laughs> Me too. That's why, that's why I'm on the squad. <laughs> And that's why I think you would make a good president. Oh. Tight. Tight, yes. tight. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll give it a shot, you know. If they, if they want me, I'll I'll do it. And, you know, I'll, I'll do the best I can. That's all I can promise, I guess. <laughs> and that's all anyone can ask. Thank you, Lennox. Oh. No problem. Uh, Lenny, you are getting... 
glared at by the school vice president and also a member of the basketball team, uh, Leroy Baker, who, at, you know that one guy who tries very hard to be subtle about his feelings and everyone knows? That's him. Hey, Leroy. What's up? So, up, oh, Not much. I'm going to run for president. Oh. Uh, cool. Oh, you should you should run for president too. Oh man, that'd be so cool. You'd be like a heck of a good president, probably. Well, I am vice president. Oh, wow. You're already like way ahead of me. I'm gonna have to work hard. Leroy wants to be upset and he wants to be jealous because he has such a thing for Layla. But that just kind of wins him over and he pats you on the shoulder. And that brings us back to present day, present time. And I need an dexterity roll from all three of you. <laughs> okay. I beg, I beg, I beg. <laughs> oh, no. I, I rolled a one. I rolled a two. Yeah. Hey, on a d6, I rolled a five. You're supposed to get a three. You're supposed to follow us. <laughs> oh, well, I'm a trendsetter. Probably never obviously. been a follower. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Lenny, as you remember this pretty nice moment you have, Layla, you stumble, crash into a locker. Manny, you're not far behind Lenny. But Kwame, maybe it's because you're in those cute little basketball shorts and the good sneakers, but you are keeping up as uh, you see Layla running through the halls. Uh, doors fly open as she passes. Lockers wing open. Papers are flying. Uh, the hallways of North Point Academy are being destroyed by whatever is currently possessing Layla. Cool beans. Don't like that one. Um, if that's what she wants to do, save big money at Menards, fine. I will... Um, how far away is she from me? Uh, you're the closest one, so she has... It's maybe a 30-foot uh, lead on you. Okay, great. Not anymore. Um, and I say, um, Anansi, I don't feel like running right now. Um, and my hands are going to splay out, um, and Webb is going to shoot directly right in front of her and create a web wall that she'll kind of bounce into um, to like stop her from running and to make her stick so she stops running. Mm. Okay. Uh, this sounds like a... Uh... Go ahead and make an intelligence defense roll. Mm, why, gotta, why, why defense? I feel like it's a range. I, I agree. Range sounds better, actually. Yeah, go with thank range. you. That goes from a D4 to a D12. Thank you very much. <laughs> what is your defense? Glad, glad I could be here to rules lawyer into a better situation. Thank you. I was like, I feel like that's range as well. Aki, is where, Aki does look like a very professional lawyer today. Uh, that's a nine. I'll take it. Mm. All right. All right. We do have rerolls if you'd like to try again, but um it's too early for that do i think do i think that'll be enough um that is going to give her the uh condition web five so that she could roll to destroy that uh and it is important that we get her because she's connected to to which one was this one no don't tell me don't tell me don't I tell me don't remember so. i'm not gonna tell you this was uh, we did with Pyman Gap. Was this Phoenix? No, this was not Phoenix. Yeah. This was... Wait, I don't think we got a name. You don't? We've, de we've dealt with Pyman, we've dealt with Gap Attack, we've dealt with Phoenix. We don't know what this one is. Okay. And, and you specifically asked not to tell us, so now we're never going to know. Exactly. Uh, yeah, it's it's important. I'll use my reroll for this. It's important okay. to make sure that uh, do I have to roll both uh, uh, over or just one? Uh, uh, you can choose to just re-roll one uh, if you'd like to keep the other. They both were average or below. So I guess roll both. Watch well, it be a lot worse. Oh, no, never mind. 15. That's the opposite. That's the opposite of worse. <laughs> That's great. Yep. Dang. Okay, with a 15, I'm going to get round that up and give you webbed eight. 
Uh, she stumbles into the webbing that you create, stopping her. Layla, uh, this four foot eleven, four foot ten on a good day, young woman uh, in her hijab, bends backwards to look at you, Kwame, and there is nothing behind those eyes besides pain and anger. She hisses at you. It's kind of weird. I don't hiss back, but Anansi definitely does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I could do that yeah, too. I, yeah. like that. Exactly. <laughs> See, I could do it too. <laughs> I feel like it goes without saying that when Lenny tripped and fell, Manny the reason that Manny tripped and fell is because Lenny tripped and fell, so they're like <laughs> on top, like they're splayed on top of Lenny, like <laughs> Oh, you guys have definitely sandwiched. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Um uh, what so they get turned around and hissed at me? That's it? Uh she is trapped in the web and she's bent cool. over backwards to look at you. She is doing a spider crawl from the exorcist situation. It's not nice. <sighs> that. Yeah, I'm going to um, the others have fallen. I need them to get up, please. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Do we have actions? Like, mm. Absolutely, absolutely. You're not in combat right now. We're not in initiative, so yeah. Uh, Manny's gonna extract themselves from this mass tangle of limbs or whatever that's just happened with Lenny and stand up uh, and uh, grab their sword from the floor and rush forward um, and kind of look at Layla and go... Does anybody know what's up? Or how we break this? I haven't done this one before, but I don't know how it would work. Usually we defeat the usually we defeat the scarecrow and, and that solves the problem, but that obviously didn't work this time. Uh whatever is inside Layla begins to laugh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You thought you destroyed me? Uh, I made that toy. We have, to be fair, um, destroyed three of you already. What makes you any different? I know not to come out. Well, we could force you out. Not without hurting her. I think I could tackle that honestly. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use my second ability, uh, which is the sate the heart, the like calm emotions thing, and I'm Ooh. just gonna try and and get at this thing. Lenny, has this ever worked? No, I don't think so. But we're gonna try it. We're gonna see if that doesn't work. I have a backup plan. Yeah. I'm All right. Let me spend that. The two AP for this. It is two AP. Okay. Uh, this is going to be charisma and power. Charisma and, and power. Okay. Where is that? Char Where the hell did my mouse go? My charisma is very low, and my power is just fine. Whoop. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna probably re-roll that because that's a four. <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's real a, bad. Yeah, very that's good. a one on a D four and a three on a D ten. So I'm, not just, I'm just going to spend one of them re-rolls that even though we had one stolen from us by Steven, uh, yeah, hey! that's better. 12 will be a lot better. All right. Uh, it's nearly max die. Yeah. Right there. Was it? Yeah. So you, what you are giving a condition, correct? Yeah. Calmed six. Layla's face goes slack as her body relaxes. For the first time, Lenny, it worked. I'll be honest. I didn't think that that actually did anything. Huh. Looks like cool. it did. Now I guess we can try and and talk talk to the creature, this the, the scarecrow, the, the 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 deity. Who are you? I am Valak. I am not a divinity. I am a demon. Oh. Wait, did you say Valak? 
V A L A C. Oh, see, I wrote down Moloch. That makes more sense. Thank you. Isn't Moloch the guy from the craft? Isn't Volok the person from um, whatever um, the conjuring? The conjuring? It's from Mars <laughs> Gotia, okay? It came there first. <laughs> Not my fault. The Warren steal stuff, okay? This what do you want? And what do you want with Layla? I want to see her suffer. I want the world to suffer. And I am going to use her and every ounce of energy she has left. And I am going to destroy this world and make it a living fucking nightmare for all of you. I think it'll be really difficult to do that without a host. It, honestly, it sounds it sounds like you're working through a lot of like personal pain. Like like you've dealt with a lot of I am pain. Past. Yeah, I get that. My dude, I, I get that. You know, it's like you're like deep down, you know, you you feel so much hatred and anger that you can't imagine a world where uh where you know happiness and goodness is like present or whatever. But like I'm telling you, and it's like, you know, there's goodness in this world. I think you've stunned the demon into silence. <laughs> I don't think he knows how to respond. I think, I think Layla is just staring at you. I think I need to pull the move with Layla that I pulled with uh, Spiro. Ooh. Um, and essentially try to knock Layla unconscious so that the, the thing that's Possessing her has doesn't have like a conscious host anymore. Hoping that'll draw it out. Um, I yes, I'd like to do that. I'd like to use my second ability uh, and pull pull the air from Layla's lungs so that she gets she gets knocked unconscious. All right. Just gonna just gonna you know put her put her to a light sleep. Yeah, uh, I believe the I believe we made that a guardian roll. Yeah, because it's an attack, basically. Yeah. So let me just see what we get. Sixteen. And that's uh, two sevens, isn't that? Is that a a thing? No, it's two sixes. Out? Yeah, I will say though uh, that is definitely going to be high enough. Uh, to give her the condition KO'd 8. Uh, Layla's body goes slack in the webs. Uh, it's... Have you ever seen someone sleep with their eyes open? I have, because I've ridden enough trains in Japan to see some real weird stuff. <laughs> I rode the Los Angeles Metro, I understand. Um, Layla, you can tell the body is out. Whatever is going on up here, still awake. So she goes limp and vacantly stares ahead. Uh, so at the very least, you know she's not going to be able to do anything right now but this didn't get Valak out of her. Okay. Well, it was worth a try. Kwame sees that and sees what Lenny tried and goes, well, if we're all trying things. Um, uh, and he steps forward, um, um, letting Anansi kind of crawl down to his hand um, as he places his hand on her face, on like on her forehead. Um, and though I'm not touching the key, I'm touching the entity. We haven't actually, I've never actually touched, I mean, other than, you know, punching somebody. I've never touched someone who was like possessed by an entity, whether it's a scarecrow or a deity. Um, but I know that I can affect keys and potentially make things dormant. So I'm seeing with my reality warping power, if I can either make it so that she wasn't possessed or or 
make him dormant enough that he can be pulled out or them. Um, but I'm just trying to I'm trying to do something and I don't know what that is. If I'm being honest, I'll let the I'll let the GM decide what happens. I, but I, I want to I attempt to do something. Saying, <laughs> I actually understand what you're going for, and we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and ask you to roll a uh let me see. You I would like a power and intelligence roll. Is that Ooh. what was that? What'd you get? That's a three. Would you like the reroll? We have two left. I'm asking the party. I don't want to just take something. No, go ahead. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, take it. Oh, that's bad. But okay, okay. Don't, 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 don't. Okay, much better. Fourteen. My Consider lucky number. It. And there's okay. a crit. On one oh, of them. Okay. Kwame, you have altered reality. In a lot of ways, some for good, some for ill, you feel something inside of you snap and then tie itself back together. It's almost like just falling straight down where you get that vertigo feeling of everything moving up and then back to where it's supposed to be, but you're feeling so off. Um, but you have revealed something. You've altered the space enough to reveal something. Where the keyhole exists over the heart, where you were able to accept divinity into your soul, you see not a keyhole, but a door on top of Layla's heart. Is it open? It is not open. Can I open the door? You assume so. Let's open the door. All right. I need everyone to roll initiative. Great, 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 great. Speed plus dex. Speed plus dex. Let's do it. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's a demon spawn. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Check out our new monster. Oh, boy. Well, I have, I, we have all rolled our initiatives. All right, what do we got? Uh, CB's, uh, Kwame's going to be first. Oh, yeah, 14 for me. I got 10. I got nine. Okay, wow. So it is going to be CB, Valak, uh, Aki, Lenny. So, <laughs> it's a scene. <laughs> yes. like, I'm the looking scene. at a door, but not just... inside. So, in the hallway of North Point Academy, in front of you, tied up in web, is effectively the body of Layla Said. Kwame, you opened up the door over her heart, and uh, Balak has escaped. In front of you stands what looks to be almost a humanoid child but the size of a fully grown man. They have horns, wings, and on top of them, and they ride atop a two-headed dragon, each with long silvered beaks and eyes that look like they belong to a completely different species of animal. Uh, this feels different than when you fought uh, scarecrows in the past. Because we haven't really fought the actual thing before. We fought things possessed or being used or manifesting yeah. through them. Yeah. Good to know. Cool beans. Fine. Cool beans. All of this is okay. We all right. This. Um, then uh, the first thing I will do. So I assume that. Just sorry, I'm sorry. Are we still in this hallway? Or are we like in this space with this thing? You are in the hallway. 
Gotcha. And this thing has come out of the door and now it's physically manifested. Yep. Understood. Now I understand. Great. That's gross. I will then. I'm going to go, Nancy, this is not good. Uh, and, non- and, you know, Nancy with their flailing. Um, and Nancy has a little uh, Catholic collar on. He's got a little cross. He's got some whole. He's got a little water thing. That's not I even your priest. religion. That is not your. We're older than Christianity. Oh, Lord. Oh, and I'm going to attempt to uh, shoot some webs into the eyes of this thing to potentially make it not see. <laughs> Okay, uh, go ahead and make a roll. This is going to be a magician roll, I think, but it yeah. doesn't sound like an attack, so we'll make it no. a magician roll, but with the stats. It, intelligence power? Uh-huh. Okay. Ten. All right, so it has blinded five. Cool. Uh, yeah, that might you know might be a little helpful, even though there's like little chicken demon things uh, beneath it. But at least the main part can't see ish. That's me. I call that a win. I get. I call it a win. <laughs> so you have aspirations to be Spider Man because you're doing a great job, Kwame. It's, I'm better than Spider Man. Let's be honest. Uh, still in his priest regalia, uh, and I'm just gonna go. Danny Glover was robbed. Wait, not Danny Donald. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, Steven. Oh my god. I'm gonna shut up now. It's the bad guy's turn. Uh, the bird like dragon is going to peck at uh, Manny first. Um, no. Yes. Alright, you luck. Out. Oh my god, it rolled a three. So it Oof. is absolutely not gonna hit. However, it is going right. to take a second action to go for Lenny. Leave Leonard alone. Don't do that. You got a three, you got a 12. That definitely meets your initiative. Lenny, give me a defense roll as I roll for your, they're bad, bad, bad. Feet. Six. Lennox. Boxcar. All right, you are going to take six damage. Ouch. As you take a small, you take a silver beak right to the shoulder. Ow, not, not cool, dude. No, it sucks. Okay. Manny is up. You have successfully dodged out of an attack. Have you ever heard running around with the, like a chicken with your head cut off? Go for it. <laughs> Just aiming for one of them chickens. One of the heads. Get it done. 12? Um, a 12 is going to hit. Sweet. Uh, for 10 damage. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, uh, Manny, you have absolute... You didn't cut all the way through. So right now, it's got one head, and another... It's got one and a half heads. It's kind of stuck on by some very tight, sinewy veins, and the dragon is continuing to squawk and blink and it's just unsettling for everyone involved especially you um i'm sure there's like a nice spray of blood it's uh if this was evil dead absolutely all right lenny you are up it's time to turn on the pressure washer (laughs) fire my water (laughs) say that i i mean i say that Lenny is much cooler than me. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to fire a beam a concentrated liquid that is definitely water and not not high grain alcohol. Ooh, and I'm not going to hit. Would you like to use a reroll? No. Uh, we only have the one left. I think we should save it for a much more important roll than me to fail this again. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and throw something out. Uh, we are $45 uh, away from our next uh, tier unlock. So how about this? Uh, for every $20 we raise going forward, I'll give one reroll. Y'all hear that? Y'all you hear that? It. It's you very know. early on in today's session, and we are nearly out of rerolls. Please help. 
And we are fighting for the first time a really, really, really bad thing. So, you know, also you are supporting, you know, uh, five technically uh, in, in individuals, working individuals, working content creating individuals with, yes. those, with those. So do the thing. Do your thing. Do the thing, do the please. Thing. We love you. My thing so. is missing completely. <laughs> All right. Uh, that <laughs> is the bottom of the order. We are back to the top with Kwame. Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess with this thing, how it is, I'm going to. Uh, yeah, I, 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 boom with my my venom, my fanged fist, um, uh, and go. All right, let's do this, um. And I'm going to attempt to hit this thing and 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 the 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 neck? I don't know. I'm gonna hit it somewhere. Well, you do have the giant freaky baby thingy. You got two dragon heads, and one of them is currently uh a little flopsy. So you got plenty of places to aim. I'm gonna hit one oh yeah, one's flopsy. I'm gonna hit the other one that's not flopsy yet. All right, you're aiming for not flopsy. Uh-huh. Uh, go ahead and make that magician's roll. Also, thank you, Mel Pamina. We have unlocked two more free rolls. Uh, help me remember, because this is like a... I don't use my strength for this. Is it my, my punchy? Or is it still based in my um, uh, magician since I'm creating a, a, a fist weapon? I'm going to say... You know what? I haven't really considered this because it is a fist weapon and you have super strength. But the magician role is intelligence and range, correct? or power depending okay um i'm gonna go ahead and say for this role go ahead and give me uh power strength i, 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 I like that I, I like that cool cool and should i should i do it since uh should i will i still uh add to now and subtract two afterwards or do i subtract two now and add two afterwards i don't remember what the uh, order subtract is two now add two, add two okay cool great yeah. i'll do that yeah magicians and guardians are opposite i add two and then minus two you guys oh, yeah minus, minus two, two then, add, then two. add two okay cool so this is going to be a whatever this is plus six mm-hmm. because haha uh 11 um, no wait add two on oh, the minus two minus nine two. that's not gonna hit would you like to use uh two mm. of our new re-rolls mm. i feel like i'm using oh, so many thank you, Mel Pimino. i feel like i'm using so many i feel like it's it's worth it though okay fine nope no same same role <laughs> Exactly. It wasn't number. It, it no, not not just the same role. The exact same number. That's, that's impressive. <laughs> oh, gee, listen. That's real. Oh, gee, Louise. <laughs> wowie, wowie, wow. Wow, it's cool. I am not used to this. I am not a fighter. I am a lover. Okay. You leave well, the fighting to me. Yeah, I, 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 I've learned my lesson, but I'm here and I've done that and I've struggled. That's me. All aboard the struggle bus. Doot, doot. All right. Uh, so before we get to it, we're going to take a very quick break from combat because we've unlocked uh, Fight, Mary Kiss, Disney Edition. Oh, goodness. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, chat, for this. Uh, it is very much appreciated. Very silly. All right. So your characters that you could fight marry or kiss because this is supposed to be a family show allegedly kermit the frog donald duck and robin hood because that one kind of flows that one kind of haunts i'm fighting kermit just because no no, i'm fighting daffy just because he irks i'm marrying kermit because he's super wholesome and then i will kiss robin hood because furry I'm not a furry, but furry. Yeah, I I'd probably go uh, kiss Robin Hood, fight Kermit because I feel like he wouldn't put up a fight, so I could win it, and then marry Donald because he his uncle is Scrooge, and then like I can inherit that money. Wait, important yeah. question because you specifically said Daffy, Daffy or Donald? Donald. He said Donald. Donald. He said oh, Donald. you said Donald? Okay, said Donald. okay, okay. I thought you I thought you said Daffy. I still hate Daffy. Daffy's not Disney. Disney. I know he's not. That's why I was confused. I thought I heard Daffy. Uh, okay, yeah, my it's still, it's still applies. I'm still fighting Donald. You're still fighting Donald. 
I don't know. I think uh, Donald's crappy. And I'm a fight him. No, yeah. Fair enough. He also is annoying, and I wouldn't want to be married to him. But you know, I'm I'm marrying for the money. Uh, let's see. I would, I would marry Robin Hood. Um, he would be loyal to me forever, um, and also protect me. And I would in turn protect him. Um, I would fight Donald. I think. Um, Donald is my one of my favorite Disney characters. But I would still fight him, and I think it would be a lot of fun. Like, I think it just would be very fun. Uh, and then I kiss Kermit because Kermit is just a sweetie. Kermit the Frog here. He's just Why looking him? for that rainbow connection, Why? and it's so I am a queer. I can give it to him. <laughs> He's seeking the rainbow connection. <laughs> I love it. Here, here I am. And me. Eric, you do a shockingly good Kermit. That's my that's one of my go to uh, karaoke's is just Rainbow Connection as Kermit. The only voice I can do is Mickey Mouse, and there's not exact. You can't really do that at karaoke. Oh, oh, how are you doing? Oh goodness. Yeah. No, thank you. The I only say, I usually sound like a cartoon cat. The only cartoon character I can do is this one specific so, uh, line, and it's "Balloon on your mailbox is an international sign for party over here." Which is uh, Cleveland from Family Guy. <laughs> Reroll. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I no, no, no. to process that information, CB. What do I do with that? Oh, you nasty. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. What is happening? Thank you, uh, Reroll there. Jenkins. Oh, I love that name. Holy shit. Thank you, chat, Jenkins. for unlocking that. That was very silly. Uh, before we get back to it, would anyone like to propose an FMK? Uh, but they have to be three Disney characters. Oh, goodness. I mean, that's... Mm. You, that's mm. like... Mm. It's, it's, the, hard is, the hard thing about it is Disney owns half of all characters in fiction right now, yes. so it's hard to pick three. Okay, 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 okay. Oh. I got this, I got this. I got this. See, a rumple of grease. Hi, uh, Chewbacca. No. Um, Fox from Fox and the Hound. Oh. Oh, that's a. a and I just rewatched that. That's a deep. That's and a and I know and their names. Hopper was his name. Hopper from A Bug's Life. Hopper. Yeah, but I think the I think the uh, the fox from the Fox and Hound is named Toby. Uh, Todd. 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 Yeah. Todd. No, Chewbacca, no. Todd, and Hopper from A Bug's Life. Boom. Okay, so Jeez. the bad guy from Bug's Life, the fox that ruined me as a child, or uh, Chewbacca. Two or Chewbacca. Yep. All right. All right. I'm going to. Wait, to oh, Copper was the fox. Todd Copper is the. Uh, the Todd is the. Cop is the so we got Copper and Hopper. Hound. I mean, I, Hopper, Hopper, Chewbacca. Yep. I mean, despite his villainous ways, I feel like I could definitely sm smush Hopper, the the fictional grasshopper, voiced by uh, known predator. Uh, oh, ooh, what? Really? Dude, you didn't know? <sighs> oh no! Why did I no? Kevin Spacey. Uh, ooh, what? I didn't gross. know that. Ew. Uh, ew. Okay, well, so we're all gonna fight him. Yeah. We're all fighting him. We're all fighting Fire him. Mm, yeah, he getting smushed. Never mind. I should we're have said that. We're gonna take turns punching him in Minecraft. There you go. I, uh, yeah, I, and so I would have to. I would have. Mm, see, this is the I problem because I would smooch Todd. I'm sorry, Copper. Copper would get smooches all over his cute little head. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I was like, because because any other kind of kind of kissing or marrying of of a thing that is clearly just an animal, whereas. Chewbacca is a sentient creature. Man, Chewbacca would take care, like, real good care of you. Yeah, like he'd, he'd be, be a loyal. great husband. I'm, gonna, I'm also going to marry. Uh, I'm also going to marry Chewbacca. I mean, I'm Harry. He's Harry. You know. I mean, he, yeah. The way he he fights for his people in the yeah. the books, you know. He He's takes good, care. Good boy. We love uh, Wookies. I mean, Wookies are the best. I, I'd have to learn the language because all I can do right now is, but like I, I can make it work. We'll make it work. I mean, Shri Shri Rook isn't for everyone, but you know, it's okay. 
Well, thank you, CB, for that one. And with that, thanks to Reroll Jenkins, you guys have three rerolls available, and we are getting back to the fight. Yeah, my song. That turned up a bit. So, it's currently Belloc's turn. Belloc's first action. They are going to heal. No. I beg your pardon? No. Yeah. Excuse me? Don't do that. They can. Can they see themselves to heal? Huh? Do anything. I don't know. What are they? What are they? What? Are, okay, fine. They have to see themselves to heal. What? What? In this world, they do. I can't even see a doctor. All right. Next up, he gets a second action. Malik is going to strike at Kwame. Or how about you don't? How about I don't? Because I rolled a four. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> What if you don't instead? Yes, uh, the large child creature swipes at Kwame and just goes, you duck out of the way. Mm-hmm. And now it's uh, Manny's turn, Aki. Yep, I'm gonna, I see, I see this thing heal up and I just kind of go, well, that's not very fair. And I'm gonna go b- for that for the probably less flopsy head again. Uh, make sure it stays off this time. For 14, which I know hits. That absolutely hits. Roll damage. Uh, but only four damage. Not great on the damage roll. Well, let's see. That knocks him down a little bit because he rolled like crap on his heels. Well, not his heels, his defense. So, uh, Lenny, it's your turn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a, a magical punch about it. I think. Do it. Just a big old watery punch. Wha bam! Uh, nine to hit is not gonna do it. I don't mm-hmm. think. We have oh. three rerolls though. Uh, I'm do it. One. I'm doing it. Ah, four. No. no I, worse. It was worse. Nine's a good roll. Nine's not enough. That's the poker player in me says you should have stuck with nine. Gotta know and hold him. All right. Back but I blame myself. I order. encouraged you. Yeah. He just runs in and tries to punch. And nothing. Nothing but air. Nothing uh, but okay. That. Yeah, I'm gonna try to hit him again because I, I got to do it. I'm Good here. Uh, okay. I do not have that many AP points left. Okay. We need uh, to break down its defenses. Fifteen. No. No. Absolutely. Thirteen. Uh, that's still going to work. Great. So this is going to be uh, uh, gross. Uh, eight points of of punchy. No, I lied. I lied. Oh, I just lied very much to you. I'm so sorry. Um, it was originally 19. Now it's 14 points. 14 points of stuff. Because I'm adding the plus six. Nice. All right. Um very good because he rolled exceptionally well on his defense. Uh, Kwame, you just connect spider spider punch to dragon baby monster. Good. Guess who? And like some of the fangs try to go in and like there's like a pump of that venom. Uh, this one pump to just make them feel gross inside. Well, them feel gross inside. And then, uh, yeah, I could do this all day. I-, I learned that from a movie I just watched once. Uh. Um, I will say, Kwame, punching into this thing, uh, I- Manny actually felt this with his sword, their sword earlier. This thing doesn't have like a, it has a physical form, but it's like a jello almost. Like mm. everything <gasps> feels what? than it's supposed to. You'll see it in a second. Oh my god! <laughs> oh! My goodness. Uh, uh, what? Uh, I can't yeah, even see easy. that first number. It's so big. Uh, how much? How much is that? I can't tell. Fancy animal vegan. I, uh, thank you. Thank you. That is... Amazing, thank you. 
Wow. Thank you so much. Yeah, that is uh, five re-rolls on top. Let's go ahead and give you the five re-rolls. Thank you. My... You're boned now, Steven. Yeah, no, I, yeah, wow. Chat's on our side. Apparently. You like uh, us. You really like us. Guess I'll go ahead and mention we are 60 away from the Lenny Witch Project. That'll be interesting. But let's know. keep going because we, we're what? still in combat. I don't even know what. what? Don't worry about it. <laughs> so, uh, Kwame, you have struck this thing and you hit hard. It is... It screams, and it is going to attack you. Uh, four and nine. That is 13, and the 13 doesn't hit. Oh, don't hit. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, its first attack does not work. Uh, it will strike at you with its other head. Don't do that. 14 does hit. Mm, it does. Yeah. All right. Uh, what's your... Roll I roll defense, right? Yes. Two. All right, you're taking nine. Ugh, ow. Cool, 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 cool. I am not that defensive. The one of the beaks just goes right into your thigh. It hurts so bad. Um, but that that's how it breaks sometimes. Next up, Aki. All right. Uh, yeah, I think. Um... Uh, one of the things that Manny would like to try is to, like, try and disrupt this, uh, entity's movement a little bit, make it a little bit more difficult for it to get away or, like, attack. So, I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna start chopping off some legs and, and stuff like that. Just, you know... We're gonna throw this dragon thing on a barbecue later, and I want to make sure that I've already like made like started sectioning all the yeah, parts. Get the white meat off. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yes, so. it seems to have the feet of a lion, so at least, at least you know, cut be cut off. Go ahead and roll. Uh, eleven. And eleven's not going to hit. Wait, are you going um, for a status or a hit? A hit. Okay not going to hit. Would you like to use one of our rerolls? You currently have eight. Yeah, I mean, why not? I haven't used Do one it. yet. Do so. it. You deserve I better than that. I have a feeling that I'm going to... I don't think I'm going to roll better, mm -mm. but... Save big money, I'm an arm. <laughs> yeah, I had that I had that feeling in my... In my you don't say it out loud. <laughs> yeah, well, sometimes... Sometimes you know. You have sometimes to say it back. <laughs> All right, well, that was my attempt at a turn. All right, uh, Lenny, you're up. All right, um, I am going to, yep, I'm just gonna not learn from my, my past mistakes and try and try and try and do a magical punch about it. We'll see how well that goes. Yeah, and I miss. So Lenny's exactly. just like, just like swinging at this thing, and it's like, like, keeps missing and like coming back it swings again misses it's just whiffing it so hard we still have six re-rolls well i mean if we got six i, might as, well, I might as well fail, fail another roll real quick just for, for the <laughs> you, you go. gotta stop, stop saying, saying it. it out loud you're putting that energy into the universe and the universe is going all right you wanted this you requested Listen, it we ever go you, we love a underdog story. We love the team coming back from behind. I don't think we do. Oh, shoot. Okay, uh, I have to roll a new initiative real quick for y'all. Real quick, just uh, throw that in there. Great. What? 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 The chat's what? unlocked something. Oh, no. Uh, through their subs uh, subscriptions this episode. Thank you all for that very much. Um, Next round, you'll see something neat. Don't worry about it. It doesn't help when you say that, you know. I know. Kwame. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it looks like it's not really, I mean, it's, but our attacks looks like they're doing something when they connect, right? Yes. 
Does it seem like it's more effective when it gets attacked or when the double-headed chicken dragon gets attacked? You guys have had more luck hitting those things than uh, the baby. 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 And it's getting two attacks because it's using itself and the chickens? Uh, yes. I'm hitting the chicken. Um, hit the chicken. Hit the chicken. All right. So this is going to be minus two plus four. So I'm just going to say plus four. Um... Seventeen to hit. Seventeen absolutely hits. Great. This is going to be. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um... Yeah. Twelve plus six, eighteen plus two, twenty. Well, let me roll. Super okay. strength. It. You do a lot. It's still standing, but it is very much alive, and it's very mad. I think what happens is, as I seek to punch, um, I definitely punch, but as I do, there's a little bit of web that surrounds one of the chicken's necks, and as I pull back, it constricts a little bit to, like, just really hurt it, and then the web breaks as I pull back. Damn. It was like... I feel inspired, you know, when you have, you know, emancipation with their glory, and then he, um, I, I can't help but, you know, be better. Inspiration. Inspiration. That's me. Uh, so inspiring. Well, now it's its turn. It is going after Kwame. Can you not? <laughs> Can you not? You just did so much damage. I didn't, spirit. <laughs> well, I got a 14 to hit, so... Go ahead and roll defense. I believe I in you. I don't have a lot of defense, y'all. No? Okay. I'm going to use a reroll on myself. Do it. Because I rolled a, I rolled a 20. Oh. Oh. On damage, and I'm, I'm not going to have that. Hey, hey, if you want to have your moment, no, you're allowed to have your moment. I don't want my moment. Chat, chat, should Steven have their moment or no? Absolutely not. No. <laughs> I I abstain from this this vote. I'm I'm curious to see what what the uh, the. The Look, I am says. I am Steven. This is my character. I'm basing it on the on on the chat. They are evil. They are evil. They want to see you wreck shit, Steven. Oh my god. This is what happens. We know what to expect. We know what to expect. Every now and again, we're going to get murdered real hard. Murdered. You're not being that guy. You're not, you're not being that guy. Sometimes, you're not being that guy. Sometimes, Steven. That's what it's going to do. And the dice do what they're going to do. And yes, of course, it is your prerogative to ignore the dice if you want to. But... I will say this. If it is breaking your mind that bad, we don't have to. I don't want to go against your your will. But this is what the dice do, so... Okay. All right. Yeah, you I can always just respect, lie. I have to respect the game. I'm sorry, CB. You take 19 damage. Yeah, I'm out. Kwame, I... you take it goes right in the chest. Oh no, Kwame, no! <laughs> no! And you have one hit point left. You don't go to zero? Do you go to one? No, you would go to zero, but the chat unlocked something. Oh, uh, I remember from last week. Hmm? Wasn't it from last week they unlocked this? Or not last week, but two weeks ago? Uh, no. Just now? Anyways, Just now. I remember I remember something like this. For some reason. Uh, Kwame. Kwame and Manny. Both of you see what I can only describe as You mean elephant. Lenny? No, Manny. Lenny and Manny? You I... said Kwame and Manny. I think you meant Lenny and Manny. No, Kwame and Manny. Oh. No. 
Yeah, my eye is know, barely open. <laughs> there is what I can only describe as an elf. They have dark, beautiful skin like a moonless night. And they are, their hand is over, their hand is basically between you, Kwame, and the beak of this monster. It has taken most of the damage. It got, and you took a lot of that damage, but you are standing with one hit point left because the chat has unlocked the issue. Uh, unlocked what? The what? They unlocked the issue. Uh, Which is? They are uh, West African uh, fairies. Oh, I love it. Cool. I love it. Lenny, you don't see nothing. Lenny's just like swinging and missing and huh, huh. Hashtag yeah. just black people things. Yep. All right. So you now have the issue helping you. They will be acting on... I originally had them coming in on initiative point one because they rolled like crap. But I'm going to go ahead and say they are going to save Kwame from death. Oh! Is this you? you do you know them, Anansi? Oh, oh I'm, 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 I'm gonna uh, just look on the ground. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, uh, cousins, Eshu, cousins, how you doing? Is it my turn to wreck some shit? <laughs> it is absolutely your turn to wreck some shit. Sweet, uh, vengeance will be mine. I will avenge you, Kwame, and try to do a hit on the chicken. On the chicken creature. 18! 18 hits! For only three damage! What the heck? They block all of it. I hate it! Reroll? Reroll on the damage? I don't you got five left because I didn't use mine. Alright, I will reroll the damage. Only seven. It's a little bit better, but. Yeah, they still block all of it. No! I hate it. Sucks to hit things and not do any damage. Yeah. Uh, next up, Lenny. Well, uh, Lenny, after spending several seconds furiously swinging at a monster and doing nothing to it, watches it stab one of its friends through the chest and nearly destroy that person where it stands and goes, Oh, not my job. Okay. Um, I'm going to use my uh, Save the Heart ability. I'm going to use it to heal Kwame. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I looked that up. I was like, what does it take to heal? Because none of us have ever really tried that except for like maybe once. And it's we're, just... we're not the most healy of parties. Yeah, but I, I was like... I've, I've healed by Warping Reality and and yeah. Dahlia heals because yeah. Persephone. Yeah, yeah, but I was like, I was like, oh, I can just... But we're more like we're more like paladin type healing and ranger type healing, you know. Right. We're not. We're, there's no cleric is, type healing yeah. happening in this party. This is definitely yeah. This is bard type healing. What's this happening is definitely, right now? Yeah. This is, is very a bard. Yeah, I think so. I can see that. I think Kwame's a warlock. Yeah. Kwame's a warlock. I feel like let like you would think. You would think that Dahlia was the bard, but I actually think she's a she's ranger a, or a druid. Dr I'll, I'll think druid. druid. And yeah. Manny's definitely a paladin. Yeah, that tracks. All right, all, all right. right. Uh, I'm gonna try and hear. Eric, hit. I'm gonna ask for a power intelligence roll. All right. Intelligence, power. Some of those dice are okay. Eight. Uh, an eight. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, because you've never done this before. And yeah. I actually really like this use of your powers. Um, you will heal Kwame for eight. Yeah, I imagine he just like he he steps back, realizes this is not his 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 bag in this fight. Sees Kwame hurt and just like sends like a wave of like shimmering like amber liquid that like kind of like covers his chest and it like lights up and like stitches some of the wound together. Oh, oh, oh. thank you. Thank you, Lene. Yeah. Uh, and... I'll pay you back. Oh, no, that's okay. It's also disinfectant. 
Okay. Ah, that stings. <laughs> oh yeah, it's gonna sting a lot. All right. Now the Eshu are going to make their move. Flash bowl one. And loop. Okay. Uh, so Kwame and Manny, the beautiful uh, elven figure draws a bow and begins firing and it just goes wide. It does not hit. Um, but you at least have someone in your corner, which is nice. We go to the top of the order with Kwame. Okay. How does the currently, even though, you know, I got molly um, does it seem like we're doing much to it? Or does it seem like this thing is going to be here for a long, periodically time? I'm going to go ahead and let you know, this thing is losing structural integrity, mm-hmm. for lack of a better term. Okay. Uh, the demon is definitely hurt. Uh, in D&D terms, it's bloodied. Cool. I guess wasn't sure if you have the if you have the uh, I must say audible change or physical change. With that, cool, cool. Then I will, I will, um, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna punch him again because I'm mad that I got hit that bad. Uh, but I'm going to seek as I punch. I'm going to seek to infuse or inject so much venom into this thing that it just decays from the inside. Um, so... Do, 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 do. Uh, minus Ooh, two... Oh, it's, it's, it's a lot more than that, though. Minus two, 18. Yeah. Uh, then plus six, plus two, 21. Paint me a word picture, CB. How do you kill it? <laughs> I think as he gets the healing and the burning from Lenny, um, he stands back up um, and just a loud just yell as he rushes forward, um, taking those fists. The fangs kind of elongate a little bit and he just like really jams it into like the gut of this thing. And just there's that you almost hear an audible just like squelching as the venom is like rushing inside. Um, and he like lets go. So it kind of flings out and you see him start to just get eaten like like a brown recluse bite. He's slowly getting eaten. Um, with, and he instinctively breaches in his pocket and hands Anansi a to- toothbrush because uh, he knows what this means. <laughs> Immediately begins uh, brushing. Uh, You watch as Balak begins to bubble and slither and slough off pieces of it. When it lands, it doesn't look like flesh. It looks like congealed meats uh, that bubble before they fade. Um, and it begins to weep. It weeps, and it cries, and it's panicking, and soon it's gone. Well, that was disturbing. That was a really good move, Kwame. You got it. Um, I'm still hurt, but uh, you take a Nancy. We should uh, take you into the into the locker rooms and maybe get you out of the hall or to the nurse's office. Oh, uh, we can just get out of the hallway. Uh, maybe the locker is probably fine. Um, most people aren't there anymore, at least. Uh, is there? Um, what's her name? Layla. Layla, is she still there? Yes. Um, she is awake. And she looks terrified. Mm, you all are the, the talkers. Well, I can talk to you, but you all are the, 
Yeah. You, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, no, just no, kind of no, no, no. sit down. Yeah. <laughs> you did your part more than enough. Uh, I think I, I think I can take some of the load. Uh, hey, Layla. Um, so what just happened happened. It's like, um, the world's like magic or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, we're magic. Or at least we like harness the magic of gods. Uh, gods are real, but like, like all of them or whatever. At least most of them. I don't know. Maybe all of them. I don't know. They they live inside keys that live inside our hearts. Well, our hearts. Some of them. Mhm. Mm uh, yeah. I think that explains everything. And who is that? She points to the, uh, well, Lenny. Nothing. She points to nothing. Oh, there's no one there. Manny. She pointed directly at the elf. You know, in, in times of, of trauma, you know, uh, shock. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see it too? Yes. Uh, yeah, you, you're both in shock. I think it's, it's probably, I've, I've heard of that. Um, you know, it Lenny, be... it might be important for you to consider that you're not going to be able to see everything everyone else sees. Uh, you know what? You're right. My privilege just blind me to a lot of things. Okay. Uh. Um, we should probably find some place a little bit quieter and not as out in the open to talk. Also, we uh, should get you out. Uh, get get you out of this this webbing. Yes. <laughs> and then when it just starts cutting in the <laughs> Thank you, uh, Miss Akanemia. Are you okay? Did he just say Miss? She said Mister. Oh, I thought I she said Miss. I'm like I'm not mad at it. But I was like, wait, talk to me or somebody else. Um. Oh, I'll be fine. I'm, I'm surprisingly I'm used to this. I tend to be the one to get knocked out a lot. I fell out of a four-story window once. <laughs> that this hurts. Is not what I expected to hear of the uh, school safety squad. Oh yeah, I mean we keep the place safe. Uh, most whether that's grateful. you know on the basketball court or uh, the cafeteria, or inside the shared dream consciousness of every certain in the Galana dorm, you know, whatever it is. Um, he stands up, you know, kind of struggling to get up real quick, kind of holds his chest as he walks over to Layla. Um, did you have a small uh, item? Any, w before this happened, do you remember touching anything? Um, I remember a white key. I found it on the field while I was uh, putting things together for the uh, foreign exchange students. And uh, where is that key now? She looks down to her chest and it, I remember it in my heart, but it's gone now. I look at Manny. Do you, I don't know if you can detect, you seem to be able to um, see things we can't. It, Try. Yeah. Can't be far, I assume. Uh, uh, do you think you could get a little bit of uh, clarity? Go ahead and make the roll. All right, let me go ahead and do 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 do. Spend the AP. And what am I rolling again? We're going to say this is uh, intelligence yes. range. Seven? 
That's pretty good. Okay. Um, with a seven, Ma'at reveals to you that when Kwame reached out, he made a door into Layla's soul where Valak was hiding. Effectively, killing him killed the key. There is no key for this one. It's gone. And Valak went wherever dead gods go. Purgatory. Mm. They go to Waffle House. Or Limbro. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't look like we're gonna find what we're um, what we're helping to this time around. I'm sorry for my uh, if this is a fault of mine. No, of course it's not your fault. This is something that happened to you. Thank you for that. Is there anything we can do for you? Anything that you need? I um. I do not know. Um, I am very much, I'm very concerned and very uncomfortable right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand. Uh, the very fabric of everything you hold dear in reality uh, is been threatened or whatever. So yeah, it's like, it's like a lot. <sighs> It also proves that the rumors around you three are true, which makes me very concerned. But uh, you definitely don't have to worry about us. We're we're here to take care of you. That's the the school safety squad's job. Yes, but I am the school president. It is my responsibility to make sure everyone is safe. Every president has a secret service. That's us. She actually laughs a little bit of that, and you can tell she needed it. Um, now, <laughs> are the three of you aware of that uh, Instagram account about you? Huh? I'm sure Dahlia knows, or maybe she's been blocked. She uh, pulls out her phone, and she has her phone in one of those, like, flip wallets that you only have if you're over 40. Um, and she shows you an Instagram account that has, well, someone's been following you. It's uh, footage from your fight with Phoenix and footage from uh, the door incident. And someone has clearly been, and it shows, uh, man, it shows Manny, Doing a super flying jump, even though you can't see the wings in the video. That's okay. Does it seem like there's like a person that it follows more often than others? Like like one person they focus on? Um, shockingly, no. It seems to be a pretty even spread. Hmm. Well, thank you for letting us know. Um... At the very least, you should at least head to the Nessa's office. Get I, some ibuprofen I, or something. Uh, she's going to reach out and put a hand on your elbow, Kwame. I believe you should come with me. And she's going to kind of pointedly look down at the huge wound you have. Oh, no. I think I, I, think I got this. I think I got this. Hold still. And, like, Lenny's, like, braces his shoulder and, like, puts his hand directly on it. All right. One, two, three. Okay, what are you doing? I'm going to try and heal again. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So it was int power last time. Yes. <laughs> Another eight. And just you just see, like, like hand directly and then just liquid firing, like, all, all along the. Uh, uh, like, uh, I think he's oh, working. That's, that's interesting. This Wait, burns. Yeah. This really burns. Oh, that, that means it's working. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> oh. When the burning subsides, that. 
when the burning subsides, you just realize, oh, I have Letty touching my chest. Uh, I don't think he's even thinking about that right now. But I mean, th- maybe like it's there, but it's like in the back of his head. He's more focused on the alcohol upon yeah. his festering wound. Yeah. Which really <laughs> hurts. Um, also, thank you, chat. We have now unlocked. Uh, so we have unlocked the international super spy, super spy, super spy, super spy, and the Lenny Witch Project. I, oh. I, I don't. Don't. We're not briefed on these beforehand. No. So Steve Stephen likes to like do things that we don't know what's about to happen to yeah. us. So knowing you are being spied on and feeling rather healed, uh, Layla starts to leave the trashed hallway. Um, you're all feeling tired. You're all drained. Well, what are the three of you going to do? We should figure out who the heck is following us and putting our business all over the internet. First of all, we're minors. That's, that's, that's sketch. Yeah. It feels like a, like a totally like super gross, like violation of like all our privacies or whatever. Like, I don't think they're allowed to film students on campus or whatever. Unless they are a student. And then they might not realize what they're doing isn't okay. Oh, yeah. You seem really calm about this, Kwame. I uh, have to be physically calm to not uh, show what that means, truly. We, if we are getting a reputation, if we are being noticed and most of us at least try to make us unnoticeable if we are being noticed that causes more problems this is not something that's meant to be public not like it's becoming we should we should start being a little more careful i mean i know there's only so much we can do when pretty much everything that's happened to us happens fairly publicly. It's not like every single one of the things we've fought has had their own like dream or a mindscape that they can project us into, like some of the things we've fought. Yeah. But maybe maybe that's something we could work on. And at any time there's about to be a fight, maybe maybe our first move is to I don't know, kind of protect Protect ourselves from being seen. Protect the conflict from being seen. I mean, I know I get we've that. done a little bit of that before. But. I get that, and it makes sense. But the things that these things we're fighting are getting like super, super bold. Like they used to, no one could even see them, and now people can like, I can see them sometimes. Like, if my choice is be seen or protect someone, I'm always going to choose protect someone first. I don't, I don't disagree. I'm just, what if our parents see these things? What if, what if they get scared and, and make us leave the school? Listen, Who's you... going to protect people if we, if we're not here? I mean, I know that every generation or whatever has had their own group of protectors. And so somebody will obviously replace us at some point, but yeah. Yeah. I feel like there's somewhere in the middle, maybe, that we can find. Or am I, I focusing on the wrong thing? No, I think I think you're right on there. Maybe we need like like policies or something in place, like safety squad official things like that we can like do or whatever when like a thing's going, like one of us is designated clear the area person, one of us, you know, I don't know, come up with mm-hmm. whatever that is. I mean, at least out here in the hallway, I didn't notice anybody follow us. Did did you? I'd like to kind of look around to see if I, I notice anything out of place. Uh, sure. Go ahead and give me, uh, just give me an intelligence roll. Oh, yeah. My I would best. like to do the, the same, but using my inherent telepathy to listen in on just the ambient thoughts 
within the area to see if anyone's specifically thinking about us. I rolled whole two <laughs> out of six. I'm such a baller. Well, uh, Manny, you think really, really hard. You look around and you're not seeing nothing. Just the uh, campus, middle of the night. Most people will, are out. I will look as well. Uh, while you're rolling that CB. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, seven. Not bad. CB. Kwame looks around and you don't see anything that stands out. However, you do see something that kind of looks like a pile of rags move behind, like duck behind a bush. A pile of rags ducks behind a bush? Yes, that's what it looks like in the middle of the night. Lenny, I, okay. Lenny, on the other hand, you're picking up two frequencies right now. One of them is a voice saying, I swear to God, if I do not find this kid soon, I'm going to scream. I'm going to scream. If he costs me, if he's cost me that scholarship to NYU, I'm going to be... I, and the other one is, oh, geez, oh, geez, oh, geez. I hope they don't see me. Oh, geez, oh, geez. I hope they don't see me. Oh, geez, oh, geez. I hope they didn't see me. Oh, geez. I'm going to go for the OGs. I hope they don't see me. Uh... Kwame, in the direction you saw the pile of rags, uh, Lenny begins to move towards. And I'll look at Manny and say something's over there. Oh. I'll say it hush, so only they hear. Hey, Ma'at, you uh, mind lighting that area up for Lenny so he can see a little bit better? Just, you know, shine the light of truth on that, on that, on that little area over there. But not until he gets really close. For dramatic effect, I understand. We don't want to scare it off, whatever it is. Lenny, as soon as you turn around this bush, you see a young man dressed in a robe with a uh, My Chemical Romance t-shirt, black eyeliner, he looks a little pale, uh, and he shrieks as a spotlight appears behind you. Thank you, Ma'at. What's up, little man? Ah! Ah! He continues to shriek. Please, stop. Oh, God. You found me. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, what's she doing over here? Huh? Yeah. Can I see your phone? No. Yes. Please don't hurt me. Uh, you, uh, Manny and Lenny, um, you recognize this kid. He was there when you were inside the, where the door to oblivion used to be. That little kind of middle ground between realities where all the keys were stolen and hidden. Uh, you recognize this kid. Uh, a little bit younger than you. Alfred Peterson. So what you up to, Alfred? And, you know, Manny Manny kind of is like just going into the picture section of, of uh, Alfred's oh, phone. Manny, immediately damning evidence. There's a video of the three of you fighting the bit the big Valak monster. There's video <laughs> of the big fight during the basketball game. Spying on us? Posting our personal lives on, on, on the internet? What's that about? Um, it was occult research. Okay, well, you're aware that, like, uh, there's a policy of privacy on the school and uh and just in general filming someone especially uh several minors uh without their express permission is like i mean it's not not looking good dude sorry manny's just systematically going through the phone deleting oh all my videos. god it, <laughs> there's videos there's pictures there's so much damning evidence so and uh oh no go ahead um as Manny's doing that, um, I see them going through and I say, would you mind if I hold the phone really quickly? Oh, sure. Here you go. And as I take the phone, 
not only do I begin to destroy it, um, there's a web that begins to go around it as I seek to rewrite that nothing exists, not just what's on this phone. Because there are, um, th- there are uh, you know, folders on your computer and things for a reason. Yeah, go ahead and give me a uh, power intelligence roll. I just want to say, Alfred, this is many levels of not cool. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. but uh, If you wanted to do research, you could have just asked us. I wanted to get my, I, I wanted to, I, I wanted to make sure I wasn't going to be affecting anything. How many rerolls do we have? Uh, you are currently sitting at six. Okay, I'll, I'll use one. Have That's fun. Five. 14. Absolutely. fucking lootly Alfred doesn't know this, but back at his dorm, his computer is currently crumbling in on itself. Well, I have to pay to replace that. Anyways, um... <laughs> I'll just be right that he never had a phone. How about that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry, but once multiverse theory came true, and I found out not only was divinity, re- the divinity wasn't just located in that what. One- one temporal paradox inside the graveyard. But you she- need to stop talking. Sorry. Listen, we're not. Well, I'm a little bit mad, but we're also very disappointed. You don't. You don't treat your fellow students this way. I'm sorry. Inexcusable. You're lucky that we don't report you to the principal, because we could still do that too. <sighs> Especially because, you know, you've been drinking so much. <laughs> ah, no! Lennox! What you need to understand is more than just physical, real-life consequences. You are meddling with things you do not understand. These I understand really dangerous. you want to learn the occult or whatever. This is more than that. As you can see, your little phone recorded very real instances Things that could have gotten you killed. I know. Well, worse, expelled. Sorry. No, there's a, there's a lot worse things than like dying. Uh, as someone who once briefly experienced all possible timelines that I could ever live in a single moment, uh, I, I have to say, this stuff's not fun. Yeah. And it's not a joke. I wasn't taking it as a joke. Listen, ever since that thing happened at the graveyard, I've been... If you had questions, you could have just asked us. How am I going to ask you if he rewrote reality? He points to Quan. By using your words? We're not going to get angry at people asking us questions. We know what's going on around here. You guys see more than you're ever supposed to now. Oh, I thought this was like a super bad thing, you know. No one was supposed to know. I think we're well past that point. I feel like it's more of a Batman thing where we like want to keep the circle as small as possible, but you know you can't help that like who who's gonna get in that circle. Guess- and we can make sure it didn't go way past the circle into a place that doesn't need to know that this exists. Yeah, you didn't just put us on blast to like other people at the school. You put us on blast to like the entire world. I wasn't. I didn't think anyone was ever going to see it. I'm really sorry. Once it goes online, it is there, and someone will see it eventually. Which is why you're welcome. I made sure that is not ever going to happen, because that is what I can do. And as the three of you continue, <clears throat> yeah, Alfred deserves this. He's a little punk, and he deserves this. He's just bringing so much shame to that T-shirt. <laughs> so mad. I'm not okay. I promise. Um, that's when a camera crew turns the corner. Friends of yours? Uh uh-uh. uh. The timing of the siren. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God. We finally found him. Uh, Lennox. Len- Lenny. Le- Leonard. Right? Lennox. Uh, Some woman of those approaches. Uh, she's very well done. She kind of reminds you of Dr. Wang, except meaner looking. If that was possible. Yeah, hi, hi. Uh, 
You can call me Miss Cortez. It's nice to meet you, Lenny. Uh, Leonard. I'm sorry. Lennox. L- Lennox, thank you. That was number two. Yeah. Hmm? You have said his name wrong twice now. That was number two. Well, I apologize. I, I literally wasn't aware he was here until uh, about 30 minutes ago. But hey, it's great to meet you, Lennox. See, I got it. Third wow, a charm. that's great. Um, yeah. Yeah, so... You're a faculty member and or parent uh, of a student that goes here? Oh, no, no, no. Um, oh, cool. So see, the Thatchers have signed up for your father. Uh, well, your father's future wife, if I'm not mistaken, uh, signed up for Real Housewives of... Uh, the town's a little smudged. Don't worry about it. Either way, we need to get some B-roll with you. So uh, don't mind us. We're not even here. But uh, your father already signed off on this. So Okay. Well, um, uh, he doesn't own the school. So you're, you'll have to talk to the, the dean about uh, about permission to, to film here. Because as, as, I mean, as we talk to this kid, uh, filming minors uh, on, on the private property is kind of like you know illegal in the state or whatever um so yeah i guess you'll just have to like get the dean's permission first before and come back later or whatever did you get all that you got all that great great perfect b-roll okay all right uh clearly you're someone you can't use any of that i have his dad's permission you don't have his permission do you what do you have ours Oh, that's right. Uh, Carlos, Carlos, a man literally out of nowhere comes up and hands both of you clipboards with contracts about yay thick. Uh, Manny just throws it back in his face. <laughs> I throw it to the, to the behind me. Just It bonks Alfred in the head. It, he deserves it. <laughs> that's a plus six. <laughs> oh, just right. because we're minors, we still have rights. And we don't consent to this. And just because his father consented didn't mean he did. All right. All right. I'll go talk to the dean. We'll see. Lennox, I'll see you tomorrow. Call time's at six. Uh, Make sure you don't wear any copyrighted material. Okay. Love you. Bye-bye. Yeah, I'll meet you on the football field. (laughs) With that, the woman walks off as... Lenny, the chat has unlocked the Lenny Witch Project. Oh, has the whole no. world just, like, gone? I didn't realize that was the... Oh, no, that's bad. <laughs> has the world just kind of turned topsy-turvy? Like, what is going on? It's at that moment, you get a text message from Kim. Hey. Right. Oh. Yes. Uh, actually, Kwame gets a text message from Kim. Hey, saw the twerps. Uh, Instagram's gone. Thank you very much. Do I need to give him a wedgie? No. No, you do not need to give him a wedgie. He has already gotten hit by a clipboard. He probably has a welt on his forehead now. Yeah, and he has he been reprimanded. Sin. He, he's just lying on the grass like birdie. Yeah, don't you leave. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right. This is one of those worlds where head trauma is a fun uh, head silly thing. hilarious. It's a fun silly thing with no permanent d- damage. Yes. Lenny, are, are you okay with being on TV? Uh, Did you know that your dad was engaged? No. And no. We don't talk much. So, yeah. Oh, I'm guessing you've never met this woman? Uh, maybe. I don't know. It, 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 she didn't say her name, so... All right, it's possible I met her. Are you okay? Uh, honestly, like, this is, like, so much going on right now, and, like, uh, I just... We just got out of a fight, uh, and then we bullied that kid, um, so, like, I'm... There's a lot going on right now, so I don't know how to like process all those emotions. Do you want to come back and just relax? I think I think we all can use a bit of a reprieve. Um, you more like, than us. It feels like all we've done these days is fight. Yeah. It's been a while since we've had some downtime of any kind. Yeah. 
I might hit the gym, I think. Is it weird that there are times when I feel like I still don't really know you guys all that well? Uh, I guess that, that makes sense. Uh, my therapist says uh, I'm pretty guarded around people because uh, I don't want them to be disappointed with me. I, I mean, you know what I have let you know, uh, but I guess if you want to know more... Uh, I, Maybe we I, should, like, plan some sort of, like, trip or something during the next school holiday. I don't know. I One have... where we don't have to do any fighting. And maybe we just, like, get to know each other. Do we get to take vacations? You do have two weeks between, uh, some, between the spring semester and the summer semester. Oh, we're a year-round school. Cool. Got it. I mean, I can, yeah, we can, like, take a thing and, like, I don't know, run a beach house or a cabin or a yacht or a helicopter. <clears throat> Some of us don't have the privilege to have all that, but if you have access to it, Lenny, then you Yeah. No, I'm saying, like, like, like I, I got this. Like, that's not a problem. It's... Just charge it all to your dad's account. Yeah. Um... Uh, yeah, that should be fine. It just we just have to make sure it is not, um, uh, well, no, it's it's between spring, summer, not fall. Uh, we don't have to worry about election season. Uh, we're good. Are either of you two old enough to vote yet? No, no, um, no, no. Oh, I'm only... you mean you mean school? Are you ready for? Are you doing school governor? No, no, no. Have I, am... I missed something? What's going on? Oh, <laughs> just yeah. like Manny goes ult ultimate, just like. Earlier just this morning. Manny is on the case. Uh, earlier this morning. I forgot to mention this. Earlier this morning, uh, even with all the basketball hype and stuff. Uh, Do you mean Le a couple of days ago? A couple of days ago, Layla asked me if, if I should like run for president or whatever. Oh. You running for school president? Yeah, I guess. I was surprised too. I mean, do it. Yeah. Yeah. I, said, I figure I might as well. And then like, you know, it's not like if people don't want me, then they vote for somebody else. So I don't know. I think I think that has everything to do with what, what you end up running on. Every president needs a platform. What is your position right now? I don't think I know. Oh, um, I don't know. I think Things are pretty good at the school. Um, maybe. No, I mean, what uh, on student government? Like, what is your title? Oh, uh, treasurer. Member. <laughs> member. Member. <laughs> uh, I mean, I get to like vote on things, and I can like propose things or whatever. Student body council. Yeah. You're a class representative, probably. Oh yeah, that's the, that's the term. I always forget. No, I was speaking my my well if if you want to know something, you don't recognize my last name, Akinimi. You probably see it a lot on billboards. Yes. My yes. father's congressman. Oh. oh, oh that's why you were talking about Yes. Oh Just making Do you sure. run, my Do dad you probably knows your dad. Uh, oh. I I I've only assisted once and it was not um Yeah, no, he typically does things on his own. I just, sometimes he asks me to, you know, go around the school or go around town and, you know, to be more like publicity or something. Oh, if he yeah. needs extra hands, he typically has a team now. Yes, I'm pretty yeah. sure my father knows your father. too. Yeah, yeah. He, he has you put on the best suit you have. You get a couple of pictures in front of an opera house and then you go home. Well, not an opera house, more like a government facility. But sure, yeah. Oh, Cool. Did the Thatchers get involved in politics? Is that what I'm getting from this? I they're, mean, the Thatchers are rich, so they are involved in every aspect of. of oh my God! Is they your 100 lobby yeah. for ridiculous? Oh God. Yeah, 100. percent They're they're an uh, old money family. Stephen, I, I, I'm not going to say it out loud completely, but you wouldn't understand what I'm saying. I do. When a thing happened, uh, did that in that in that moment did that put 
uh, the Akinyamis in, in in league with the Thatchers for some good money to make sure that the campaign's better? Because that's what it sounds like. It sounds like it. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is going to be fun for Steven. I'm going to have fun with this one. Now, we are... So, with that, we with that fun, fun revelation that I am... Horrifying realization. I'm going to have so much fun with you guys. Oh, my God. Um, we are going... We Now, Mel Pamino did choose to draw from the deck. However, we did not... Managed to do that. I'm going to roll that over to next week, Malcolm. You know, I'm sorry. We, we will start off next session with a draw. So come back next week for that. But before we go uh, and, you know, say our goodbyes, we do have some toast. Ding, 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 ding. All right, kids. Uh, I hope your little basketball game went well. Uh, we have a, a few announcements uh, for, for today. Let me read these out for you. Uh, the first from uh, Five Foot Latina says, uh, the gymnasium is closed for repairs. The athletic department reminds the entire North Point Academy community that the policy has always been no shoes on the gym floor. Or no street shoes on the gym floor. Sorry. Um, now that we're saying that, not that we're saying that that happened or anything, but, you know, you know, gym shoes for the gym people. Guys. You know, it's on all of us to do it. Uh, also from Five Foot Latina says, Happy early anniversary to hours without sleep. Uh, being with you is like rolling a critical success every day. Uh, I think of no greater way to express my undying love than to have uh, Gladys shout out, shout it from the rooftops for me. X, 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 O, O, O. Yeah, love. I, you know, I'm not saying Gladys hasn't been in love. I mean, you know, I get, I, I'd say I fall in love every couple of days, if you know what I mean. But, you know, it's not for me. You can't tie it down a thoroughbred like me. Oh, my uh, God. Uh, from Reroll Jenkins says, Reroll Jenkins. So, uh, there's that. And then we got. Chovixani, uh, courtesy of uh, uh, Fantasy Animal Vegan, says the indigenous community are having a rally about the water rights across the U.S. Come support and write your various officials. Also, uh, we'll have a small party afterward with drinks and punch. Yeah, you know, not enough people in this country have access to clean water. You know, too many corporations take it over. That's what Claire said. Hey, I'm not supposed to get political here. Anyway, that's your announcements. Y'all have a good day. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for that, Eric. Um, all right. So with that, that is this. That is where we are calling this episode of New Pantheon Academia. My name is Stephen Pope. You can find me online at The Professional Hobbit. Until I get a cease and desist, we're running with it. And make sure you check out Queers, the tabletop role-playing game. The demo will be available very soon. Uh, I am lead writer on it. And we have an amazing game that I'm really, really proud of. And I, we're, we'll be taking it to Kickstarter soon. So I'll have more info on it later. Uh, now, Mixmaster Aki, where can they find you? Hi, everybody. I'm Aki, and you can find me on Twitter at Mixgenie in a Bottle. That's M X G I N I I N A B O T T L E. My full streaming schedule can be found on my personal Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Shidari Aki. That's S H I D A R E A K I. Uh, catch me tomorrow over on D&D Twitch playing Candlekeep Mysteries with the Chaos Initiative. And then following that over on Q Times at 6.30 p.m. playing some Star Trek Adventures with Clear Skies. And then on Tuesday, uh, I will be playing a game called Nagomancy over on Indicate Twitch. Uh, that starts at 3 p.m. Um, and then I got a couple of other things uh, in the mix, but I will let, uh, I'll let CB talk about the other thing. Ah. Very cool. All right. Uh, mix, Mr. Critical Bard. Um, yeah, my name is Omega Jones, also known as the Critical Bard, Critical Bard across all social media channels. Um, I do too much. I'm a hot mess incarnate. Uh, you can catch me on twitch.tv slash Critical Bard, where I'm a uh, variety streamer. I'm a Twitch partner who does way too much, uh, playing Fortnite and Dead by Daylight and other things on my channel. Um, I will say you can catch me tomorrow for Realm Smith, but we are off for, the, for a Canadian holiday, I think, or something. It's happening. Uh, so we're not going to be there tomorrow. Um, 
Uh, ooh, Tim Hortons gosh. Day. It's Saturday. Yeah, see, yeah, that. Um, uh, you can catch me Friday on Tampo, uh, uh, which is a uh, D&D campaign using this Islands of Sina Una campaign setting, which is a campaign setting inspired by pre-colonial Filipino culture made by HGT Paladin and Lucia at Seal Sword. What else am I doing on Saturdays? T- typically, you can uh, catch me on my channel for season two of Let's Get Wild Mouth. Boo, boo, boo. <laughs> also, with Aki and an amazing cast, um, we had thank you very much. We had to uh, postpone uh, our premiere uh, by a week for because of unfortunate tech difficulties, but it happens. So, you can catch us next week at 1 30 Pacific over on Twitch.tv slash Critical Bard. You can also Normally, catch me at twitch.tv slash indg for Dungeons and Durags, which is an all black DD campaign DM'd by moi. Uh, and yeah, that's really it. There's something happening on Thursday that I can't talk about. You'll find out really, really soon, though. Just be looking at my social. Well, damn. All right. And last but certainly not least, Mr. Mostly Eric. Hi, everyone. Uh, you can follow me, Mostly Eric, on all the social medias because that's the it's same all over there, including Twitch, where I stream video games from time to time. <laughs> Um, uh, Aki needs to take their meds. Uh, and uh, yeah, you can catch me later tonight uh, at 7.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's an hour and a half from now on twitch.tv slash Kyle McCarley uh, for the Board and Barrel, which is a board game show uh, that we do where we play board games. Uh, mostly now in physical realm, although tonight is going to be one of those remote ones, which means I don't have to put on pants. Hell yeah. Pants? Who needs them? Well, you do need Damn. to do though apart from see all these beautiful people's beautiful games and projects is come back here tuesday where we continue dune it's literally written like that i'm not being funny uh we are playing dune here on saving throw it's our final episode of our learn to play series on dune uh so check it out should be very fun special thanks to dom zook who runs everything behind the scenes wouldn't be able to do without you man and thank you all for tuning in this week uh Until next time, bye.